All right, time to play some H3VR. We've got a new experimental build today, and, uh, well, let's check it out. All right, we got our uh, table full of guns here. Good stuff. Uh, some uh, new ones, some old ones that were in the last update, were, but uh, weren't actually in the last update for some reason. But they're here. All right, so let's, uh, before we do anything, I want to make sure I got everything set up. Keep forgetting to do this. Doo -doo. Let's just make sure. Do a little head wobble. There we go. Cool. All right, so let's take a look at all the uh, new new toys. Some of them new, some of them, like I said, were from the last update but weren't in the game proper. But uh, let's go check out the new 1022 rifles that uh, uh, were given to us. So this is the 1022 classic. Uh, obviously the uh, whoops. Obviously, the old 1022 model has been removed, which, uh, oh my goodness, where was it? I think it was probably in the carbine section. Yeah, so it's it's gone now, the old one. Um, yeah, well, it's gone in its place. Now we get the uh, two versions of it. We get the old uh, wooden classic stock here pretty good let's grab ourselves a magazine okay what the come on there we go we'll just grab some of these other mags as well because uh might use them later on and we also get a uh, little rail here but let's just take a look at that in a minute actually you know what i want to spawn a site this since we have a let me see just chest checking my audio levels here. Let's grab ourselves a... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's grab ourselves a scope. Uh, three, 12 times magnified scope. Okay. So this is the uh, 1022 Classic. Again, Woodstock. Got a safety selector on the left touchpad. So this is safe, this is fire, right? And uh, yeah, we'll need a magazine. I think down on the touchpad. No, no down, okay, cool, that's fine. We have to pull the magazine out manually. Let's chamber around in there, we're all ready to go. Okay, look down the sights. Pretty cool. There you go. Hold on. I just got to scratch my nose for a bit. Oops. Dropped my gun. All right. Do a little couple more shooting. It's a couple, couple more rounds. And there you go. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's actually increase the distance on this thing. And let's reset the target. Got ourselves a new mag. And let's stick this rail on here. Should just, oops, it didn't quite stick on there. There we go. And then grab our scope. And hold on just a second. Got to do something. All right. So, uh, it's actually, um, let's make this a lot farther. Let's try 30 meters. Just got a scope on this thing. All the way over there. Increase the magnification. A little bit more. There we go. Actually, hold on, <laughs> just a second. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, the zero is uh, up to 100 meters, so I think this is shooting a little high. Whew, 
Okay. Oh, we're out. You know what? Let's change the, to a different scope here. Get rid of that. Let's go with a... Um... Yeah, this is a little, a little overkill. Right? For the uh, distances in this range. Let's go with... Um... Hmm. I'm going to go with a low power. Yeah, we'll try this. Let me see. Nope. Try something else. Hmm. Okay, no, not bad. I think I might have just been really bad at shooting. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was just me, not the scope. I always blame the equipment. <laughs> yeah, I am shooting a little high, though, so. There we go. Close enough. But yeah, you get a little rail on top of there if you want to use it. All right, cool. Well, that's the classic 1022. Obviously, we got all these other magazines here, which is why I'm going to go with the modern or the sport version of the 1022. Looking pretty good. Well, let's uh, make this go back to three meters here. While we're waiting, I'll scratch my head. <laughs> all right, cool. So let's pull out the extended magazine here. This is already ready to go. Whoa, that was weird. I thought it was ready to go. Not bad. Very low recoil because obviously it's a 22 LR. So, I mean, it's not going to jump all over the place. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't holding it steady enough there, but yeah, there you go. That's the, um, I don't know how much this is, but I do know the, uh, the amount of rounds in the next two magazines we're going to look at. But before we do that, let me just uh, look at one other feature that Anton decided to put on this gun before we move on to other things. You'll notice that the stock uh, you know, has some, uh, some weird uh, kind of strange molding around it. Well... You can open it up, and uh, you can stick magazines in there. So a total of three. There you go. Now you have four magazines of 22 LR. Oops, I just pulled that straight from the, the stock without opening the thing. <laughs> Apparently you can do that. Oh, and this one has a magazine release, so touchpad down. Makes reloading a whole lot easier. And then we'll just grab another mag here. Come on. <laughs> There we go.
So you don't have to actually open this thing up, but, uh, well, you know, you can if you want to. But yeah, you can put uh, three more magazines there. I want to try something. This is not going to work, I don't think. Oh, it it does. <laughs> it does. In some strange, weird way, it does. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sure, let's just do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh well now I can't see the sights because the magazine's in the way maybe I can I'll just uh, peek my head through okay grab another one Let's see how fast I can fire this thing. Oh, well, my fingers are already tired, but uh, yeah, <laughs> you can do that. All right, so we got the uh, regular and the extended magazine. Let's get rid of these uh, magazines here. Let's try the 50 round drum. Uh, before we do, let's Let's see if this works. This would be absolutely crazy if it does. Oh, it does. Anything's possible in HCVR. <laughs> yeah, sure. That'll work. All right, but yeah, you know, you get your drum mag here. Pretty cool. 50 rounds. Um, I'm not going to fire all these, but... Uh, Well, no, I'm not going to fire anymore because that's just too much. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. It's a 50 round drum mag. But if that's not enough for you, and if you need more 22 LR in your life, then there's the 110 drum mag. Which, uh, you know what? We'll do this first. See if this will work. This will definitely work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That definitely works. Yes. Beautiful. Now I just need to close this thing. There we go. Isn't that a beauty? Look at that. Just look at it. In the light and everything. Oh, you know what? We need a... Got the scope here. Oh. And wait, you know what? Let's trick this baby out. Let's grab ourselves a... Let's see... What kind of suppressor should I grab here? Something nice uh, and uh, big. No. No. The bigger one should be... Oh my goodness. Uh, I forgot which one is the biggest one. Wait, wasn't it the... Um, Probably was this one, right? This is uh, longer than the Uzi. I might be wrong. Or was it this one? I can't remember. Whatever. We're just going to grab this one. Stick it on the end here. There we go. And, um... Yeah, I mean, I think that that's good enough. I mean... I could probably add a um, laser sight, maybe try to stick a bipod in here, but uh, nah, that's that's enough for a customization for this gun. I mean, it's already pretty, it's already looking pretty ridiculous. Let me clear this. Let's go ten meters. Set the target. One hundred and ten rounds. Oh, <laughs> I forgot the uh, magazines are clipping into my face. Because, uh, yeah, that's where my face would go. But, uh... Yeah, 
And there we go, 110 rounds. Ooh, my finger, my trigger finger is really tired. I'm not gonna fire these because these take too long, but the absolute absurdity you can put these magazines into the slot is pretty cool. You know, you can just grab one of these, this one, and then maybe the 50 rounder. Yeah, you know? And then for the final one, you get the 110. Yeah, four magazines and all four uh, slots. Yeah. Absolute beauty. Just stick that on there. All right, so that's the 1022. So that was the new toy added for uh, this experimental update. But like I said, these were in the previous build of the experimental, but they just weren't available for some reason. Now they're here. So <clears throat> let me clear my throat. This is the Model 6. It's another Derringer, one of these uh, funky ones. Really cool. Nice model. Look at that. Right in the light. Uh, yeah, so left on the touchpad, I think uh, opens up the uh, breech. Right, and then bottom uh, on the down on the thumb pad, cocks the hammer. Because I think this is a single action. But let's grab ourselves our roundages here. That's a word I just made up. Okay, so this is 57 Magnum. Let's reset the target. Clear, go to three meters. Probably two. Oops. No, no, no. Let's go one meter. Hey, right, well, you know what? This is a uh, 357. I think we can go a little farther. So let's go to three. All right. So we'll take two of these. Oops. This is not spawn lock. There we go. All right, so basically you're supposed to pull the hammer back. As uh, stated earlier, this is single action. Ooh, bullseye. Dead on. Look at that. Let's uh, take a look at that. All right. <laughs> okay. Whew. Okay. Ah, a little, a little too low there. That's okay. There we go. See, I just have to uh, take the tip of that blade and oh, it's a little higher. See, that's why I was aiming last time. That's why I went so low. Need to do like that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Uh... Ah, a little low that time, but that's okay. Oh, I was like flicking it this way. Set the target. There we go. Pretty cool. I I want to try one thing. Hold on. Let me try just one thing here. Nope. I was trying to do the um, single action army style. Where if you, um, let me give a good example here. Revolvers. Where is it? So many guns there. <laughs> There's so many guns in this game. Uh, single action army. Here it is. See if you hold the trigger down and you push down on the. Uh, Thumb pad. You can actually, you know. Because usually if you just, if the trigger is not held, watch. So if you do that, right? Of course. You can fan it, but whatever. Just wanted to uh, check. But uh, uh, yeah, so. That's the Model 6. Just want to make sure, yep. Really fun. Now we're going to its big brother, I guess. This is the Model 6 XL. And this fires 
4570. Ooh, yeah. Big boy. Set the target. Okay. Yep, it's uh, Derringer with a lot of kick to it. Oh, a little low there. A little too high there. <laughs> ah, that last one was a little too high. That was a weird one. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I hit that last one. This was my last shot right here. Oh, yeah. But yeah, there you go. The Model 6 XL. Firing a big round. Looks nice with its, uh, I guess that's, uh, you pearl? Pearl? Hand grip? I don't know if that's real. I mean, it's got the, uh, it's got the nice little engravings on there. Right? Hmm. Cool. There we go. That's something we missed last week because it wasn't in the item spawner. And of course, uh, I talked about this. But uh, this is the uh, speed loader. And uh, yeah, the only. In a minute. Oh, wait. No, before I do anything. Should work now. There we go. So, yeah. Yeah, there you go. A 12 gauge speed loader for the uh, M255, M MT, sorry, MTS 255. This is the short version. But uh, yeah, you got the speed loader that works now. So instead of loading uh, five cartridges individually, now you can just, well, it's a speed loader. That's what it's called. Cool. All right. And uh, obviously, I think Anton showed this off in the uh, devlog, but you got these aircraft sights now. Really good for... Let's uh, find a good firearm to put this on. <clears throat> Let's try a uh, light machine gun. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with the Ultimax. Wait, does this have a... Uh... I don't think this has Picatinny rails on there. Oh, no, I don't think so. No. Uh, or was there an attachment for this? No, it would show on the secondary object, so... I don't think so. Alright, well, we'll find another one. M60? M249? Now, you know what, the M240 Bravo might work. This might have... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Spawn ourselves a box. Got where that goes. <laughs> okay, grab our sights. Going back. Where's the front post here? Go. I'm a little too tall for this. Hold on. To grab myself a panel. A little lower. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's go the maximum distance here. Oh, 
Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, safety's on. Did I actually hit that thing? Hold on. Let's uh, clear, go to three meters. Let's see what the damage is. Was I really that accurate? Okay, <laughs> I managed to hit it. All right, well, I'll just go. <laughs> it's a little too far for me to see, so let's just go up close. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to cut it in half, but, uh, Maybe, uh, yeah, it's probably set to uh, strong. You want to set it to weak. And then we'll just do one more box here because it's always fun firing off machine guns in this game. Oh, that little part right there. I just need to, need to get rid of it. Oh, where is the thing? There it is. There we go. All right. It's always it was. It's always nice to remind yourself that you can cut the target in half. Also, the M two forty Bravo is uh <laughs> is pretty cool. All right, so the, those are the major things. Uh, let me check the note here. We are still missing one thing, and that is the M1951. I've looked all over. I've looked in the pistols. It doesn't seem to be here. <clears throat> this is the uh, Roth Steyr, or Steyr Roth. I don't know which one it is, but this is this. Yeah, so it's not here. It's, uh, if you remember correctly, it's the precursor to the M9. So, uh, it's maybe a Beretta, if I remember correctly. Precursor? I'm, I'm not going to be wrong on that, but yeah, so it's maybe a Beretta. It's not here anywhere. I've tried to look for it. It's not here. It's not in the new item spawner, so that that is still missing. Uh, but everything else uh, should be in here. There's the Cobb pistol. Okay, so what else do we need to talk about? Uh, let's see. Look into list here. Asp slide release now works. So this should work. Talked about this last time. It has a slide lock driver right there. Right? And this should work. Yep, there we go. That works. It locks back on the last round. Release it, and there you go. All right, cool. What else? Already talked about the 12-gauge speed loader. The, uh... Oh, yeah! No, I completely missed this in the uh, notes, because there's two pages of patch notes. But we have new Tech 9 um, models. So let's grab ourselves a couple of Tech 9s here. Do, do pistol was it a pistol no it was not a pistol it was a um right, hold on submachine gun right i'm not sure anymore qrst no i am 
pretty sure. Uh, hold on, guys. Wait, I'm trying to remember. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. So, this is the uh, new Tech 9. I think Anton showed it off. This is the semi automatic version, as I think they were standard, right? So, let's just grab this. And this is the legally modified version. Let me just grab and stick that there. Yeah, so they're, uh, they're I think um, the previous model, the Tech 9, they were kind of like really small, thin. Now these guys are the, I think, right dimension. And this should be semi automatic. Oop, <laughs> the target's gone. So, yeah. Ah, hold on. My hand is not getting these weird cramps on my hand again. I'm holding this uh, controller. But yeah, so it's the actual, like, accurate, I guess accurate, you can say accurate version of Tech 9. And then you've got the illegally modified Tech 9, which with its nice little paint job uh yeah so this one is the uh one with the uh, giggle switch so yeah those are the uh, two ones this one again this one's uh the modified version Cool. And then you got the um, the regular semi-automatic version of the Tech 9. All right. Took a look at those because I forgot about them. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, the Vector now has a mag release or whatever. I forgot what it was said in the patch notes, but uh, let's grab the Vector here. Carbine? I think it was carbine. Uh, let's see. No, was not. It was a submachine gun. I am really, yeah. <laughs> so this one should have a, um, I think we talked about this last time, but if you press down on the touchpad. Huh? Wait, hold on. I don't remember how, to... oh. I lost the magazine for the vector. Yeah, okay, no, 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 I see, I see now, I see. Okay. I think if you... Oh, that's... I don't know if that's intended behavior. Because this is the grip point, right? This is the grip point for the new vector, but... Every time you grip that area, the magazine gets released. And that shouldn't happen. Yeah, that's... That's pretty strange. Huh. I guess that's a... Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check out the Discord and see if that's a bug or not. Yeah, see? That's weird. I mean, I know that there's a button there to release the magazine. But this is the grab point. Because there's no grab point over here anymore, unless you put a uh, foregrip on there, which we can just grab one. Let's grab a foregrip. This is fine. So yeah, yeah. See, there's a magazine release here, but as that's the only grab point now, there's no grab point here. Yeah, see, that's a bug. I think that's a bug. Anton might need to fix that. No, oh, we can still put a, uh, a foregrip on there and grab it. Hmm. Yeah. 
See, that's where you're supposed to grab it, right? Hmm. That's weird. I thought that was fixed. All right. Well, you know what? Well, since we got this thing out. Oops. That is not the charging handle. There we go. Cool. Well, that needs to be fixed. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think Anton will get onto that. Probably uh, somebody probably already mentioned it to him on the Discord. Okay. Uh, what else? What else we got? Let's see. The TP28 drum mag. I think Anton showed this off in one of the previous devlogs. But let's go and find the DP dinner plate. Where is the machine guns? DP, DP. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, we get the uh, the magazine, uh, the um, drum mag now is uh, properly working. And, and if we fire this thing off, we should see it rotate. You know what? Let's do it like this. Just like that. Pretty cool. And again, it's got the sling swivel thing. So I missed that last time. I don't know why you would fire a DP-28 like that, but uh, you can in H3VR. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that was the thing I wanted to show you. Okay, what else? Uh, we already did the vector, the ASP, twelve gauge speed loader, uh, ladies' home companion fix. I think that was just because um, the ladies' home companion spawned with the wrong ammo. So yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so the ladies' home companion, um, I think is a revolver. Ladies Home Companion. Where are you? You're in here somewhere. You're tiny. There it is. This one is now, I think, 22 short. Yeah. So this has now been correctly chambered for 22 short. Remember the uh, short uh, little 22s? Ow. <laughs> I hit my, hit my headset with my controller. It's right there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so... So small, and you can't really see it. But now it's uh, properly there, and uh, yeah, should. Oh, let me just. Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> that was the uh, pretty much the fix there. All right, let me look to the list one more time. Okay, well, we got one more thing, but uh, I think we should show it off in a different scene. So let's get out of here because there's too much stuff here. And I don't think there is a, uh, where, where, where I'm going is where I need to be, but uh, let's see. Do, 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 where is the proven ground? Now, it's been a while since I used this. Uh, ever since, like, Rot Wieners 20... 2018? Was it 2018? 2019. I don't know. It was a long time ago. But, um... So, let me just get into the scene here. Yes. We are going to talk about the bangers. There's, uh... The system was revamped, I think. Anton showed it off, but, uh... Yeah, let me grab some crafting. Here we go. So these should be, I think, uh, from what everybody wanted. Uh, do we need a timer or a uh, radio? Yes, a radio. Okay. And then we need explosives because we're going to make a banger, obviously. <laughs> if it doesn't go bang, it's not really a banger. 
Uh, we need explosives. Miscellaneous? No. We need uh, support. Grenade. Oh, yeah. The hot dog grenade's in the game now. I mean, in the spawner. All right. Let me grab some... Uh, what was the uh, biggest boom out of here? Hmm. Huh. We'll go with this one. Oops. Nice spot for you to spawn in. All right. So, let's grab ourselves the banger. Let's, uh, you know what, stick a couple of these babies in here. Uh, I think we can, we can do a couple more. All right, we'll make a banger. It's been a while since I made one, so. Okay, it's uh, getting a little wobbly there. Just uh, slam these in there. Do, do, do. Put one on the side. Oh, we still need to put the radio in there, so. Stack that in there. A couple more of these. No, stay in there. Okay, I think that's the upper limit right now. Okay, we got our banger. Now, one of the changes to the banger system is that these can be spawn locked. So now you can have infinite bangers. Let me grab the uh, thing here. All right. I'm trying to find out where the center of my play space is because I just moved all over the place. Okay. So yeah, these are spawn locked. Control them now. Spawning these things, and I'm probably going to crash my computer by doing this, but we're going to spawn a lot of these. Again, spawn lock. That's like one of the new bigger changes to the banger system. And, uh, of course, I think Anton mentioned that you could save them, but saving and loading is disabled in the uh, experimental branch, so <laughs> you can't really do that right now. But, uh, yeah, when the saving and loading system comes back in, eventually you'll be able to do uh, save these so you can have custom bangers saved, which everybody likes uh, for people who like uh, using the bangers. All right, this is going to be bad, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't see. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that. I don't think. Um, I don't think the visual effects came through, but uh, I pretty much went blind there. <laughs> it's like when you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should turn off spectator. That would uh, that would show it off. But uh, now nah, you know what? That's fine. Basically, your vision kind of like you know. I don't know. Squeezes or whatever. What, what's it called? I don't. I forgot what it's called, but. Yeah, so many explosions. All right, one more. Oops. All right. Yeah, maybe you guys should see that. That's a, that's a very interesting effect. Let me do this again. Uh, default. You're going to see... Oh, is that not working? Hold on. Hmm. Okay, well, that's weird. Fine, whatever. All right. <laughs> this is going to be really bad. I don't know if the, this will, this effect will come through in the video, but... Uh, very interesting. At least to me it is. I don't know, somebody else might have, like, motion sickness from it, but... Uh, like I said, I don't get motion sickness. So... One of the uh, best things about uh, <laughs> playing VR. You don't get motion sickness. All right, here we go. Hopefully this will be uh, evident in the video, but whatever. That happens. Eh, you know, it's all right for me, but for some people it might not be. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so yeah, that, that's the banger system. That's been... Uh, added to the game or, or modified uh, what else oh yeah the, um, let me see if this is in the uh, item spawner here I don't know if this is but uh, barriers no I don't think so hmm 
utility? No. Oh, there's the wallet. Hey, what do you know? So this is the uh, new wallet for... Let me see if I can find the... Uh... Oh, my, my hands are cramping up. Oh, I hate this. Need to do some stretches or something. All right, this should... Here we go, 69 cash money. So this is part of the uh, future, future, future update for the game planner system. So now we get uh, money, we get currency. So this is, uh, yeah... 69, nice. Caliber cash money. This is the $1 round. $1, one cash, $1. One cash money round. Man out of wood. Cool. Okay, no. I don't think these are, um, can you shoot these? I know there should be a gun later on that could probably, I think Anton mentioned that, but uh, hmm. I'll find out. Let's spawn ourselves to five. Just a regular, uh, I guess, what do you want to say, brass? Is this brass? Ten. This might be copper. Oops. You know what? I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Whoop. Get out of here. Okay. All right, so 20, 20. This might be, uh, this might be copper. Yep, this is copper. Whoops. That turned into one cash money. Huh. I guess the system might not be working. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 20. All right, this is copper. 100. This is silver. And 1,000 is gold. Look at that. Yeah, there's, uh, it's not quite uh, there yet. That 1,000 just turned into one. But yeah, there, your wallet is basically a magazine. And I think this can hold a lot of stuff, so... Oh, no, that one worked. Yeah, this magazine can hold a lot of, uh, or wallet, sorry. This could, this wallet can hold a lot of uh, rounds. I think I might have messed up because there are now a lot of these. In fact, are these, I want to say, let me grab, uh, where, uh, where is it? Tools and toys? You grab, uh, this might work. I need a lighter. Give me a lighter. Okay, yeah, they uh, they are active bullets. They will go off. So, cool. I just wanted, you know, to make sure, but yeah, there you go. That's your cash money. <laughs> your wallet and your cash money. And this thing's making a lot of noise while I'm moving. All right. I'm trying to look for what else is in here. Uh, all right, I don't think it's here. But uh, it does say in the patch notes uh, for last week that, uh, see, wooden crates were added, but uh, I don't really see them in the, uh, yeah, I don't really see them in the, in the item spawn anywhere. So, oh, you know what? That's another thing that can be uh, added later on. Again, this is experimental. Not all things can work, but, uh, you know, we're, all, we're, we're here to see, uh, you know, if they do. 
But uh, I think that's about that. That might be it. Uh, yeah, I think I got through a lot of this stuff on the list here. So yeah, that is about it for today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.